in general, if his chest makes contact with my chest, I'm trying to crunch myself, ball myself up. If he sits upright, I'm trying to follow him. When he brings me back down, I'm trying to remain above. Uh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Base yourself with your hands. Use what, get yourself back upright. I stay up. When he comes down, I ball up again. Go back up. I stay with him, okay? This is the drill, okay? We wanna make it so that his connection is never solid. Does that make sense? Base with your hands on the top and stuff. Make sure you don't fall over, which it is, it's hard not to fall over, okay? But just remember, when his energy is upward going, I go up. And that could be elbow first and then hand, that's fine. And when he goes, as soon as I feel it going down, I'm high with my shoulders and my, and my knees, okay? And you'll find that you tend to get a lot better um, when it's dynamic like this, that you'll actually raise him up more than you did when he already got settled and you had to do that, right? Because you're a little earlier to it. But you just want to be able to move between those two pressures, okay? One, two, three.